What's good? What's good? A happy new year, YouTube. Chevy brother back in the building. Man, just jumping back online to wish everybody a happy and safe 2021. I hope y'all had a safe New Year's and a Merry Christmas and, you know, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I know I've been off here for a little while. Uh, I kind of been out the limelight. Um, I had a couple issues with my RC car. Uh, I'll get into that and share that with you guys. Um, haven't really had much content to film. Uh, you know, I filmed the... Uh, Midwest Fest 4, i seen you guys like that. So in 2021, we are going to be switching it up on a channel. Uh, we're going to be bringing more car show content and big rims and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to do a couple things a little different. Uh, i also show you guys what's been going on with the Stampede. Give me just a second. What's up, YouTube? I also want to throw this little tidbit in there. Uh, there is a game, that a drag racing game that's on Android and uh apple phones called door slammers 2 uh it's a drag racing game where you can go on there you can rest race no prep uh you can race drag radio you can race uh gassers they even have donk racing that's on there now uh i myself i'm on the game if you guys want to race me uh you guys can either send me a, a dm um uh, or either you know smack in the comment section or either email me uh, i'm also chevy brother on there uh i race all different classes of racing on there uh, I do do grudge racing so if you guys want to get into a race with me you know send me a code look me up on there let's get it popping I also tune uh, cars for door slammer too uh, if you guys want to get a hold to me again you can either smack it in the comments down below or email me that's chevy b r o t h a at gmail.com I could uh, tune twin turbo nitrous cars or anything on the game so go ahead hit me up I'll let you know from there. All right, YouTube. Chevy Brother checking back in with y'all. Um, this right here is my Stampede 4x4 that I converted over to run on the street. Um, the motor I have in here is 1415. I'm sorry, 1512 Castle uh, 2650 KV motor. Uh, this is actually a Chinese knockoff. It's not a real castle. Um, gearing, uh, I have 2438 Mod 1 gears, I have aluminum motor plate, or I'm sorry, aluminum motor mount, stock motor plate, I have the uh, Traxxas E-Revo uh, clutch in here, um, I have roller bearings, I have 17 millimeter hub adapters, which are mismatched right now, uh, because I broke one back here, so I have one of the original Traxxas uh, hub adapters back there. Uh, on the back here, the A-arms are off of a Rustler two-wheel drive. Um, I also have the aluminum hub carriers for a Traxxas uh, Rustler. Uh, if you look at my drive shaft here, let's see if we can spin this guy around. Now, if you look at my drive shafts, these are actually the U-joints from the Extreme Duty drive shafts. Um, I grafted them onto here. Uh, soon to come, I will be putting Extreme Duty axles in this car. Uh, they were just hard for, to find, so I just replaced all my uh, my U-joints with the Extreme Duties for now. Um, I got that done in all four corners here, front and back. Okay. Uh, as far as shocks... I have GTR shocks all the way around off of a Trex Z Revo also. On the, sprint, on the front, I have green label. Um, I just put these on because I had a different set of shocks on here and broke them. So those are just on there. I haven't ran the car yet. On the back, I have orange label. Um, the reason why I've been out of the game with this truck here. Um, oh, also too, I want to tell you about the tires. I have uh, S3 compound all the way around. Um, the reason why I've been out the game so long with this truck, um, I actually got this truck running and I was driving it down the street uh, shortly after I bought the uh, TQI remote, if you guys remember that. Um, I was driving this thing down the street. Uh, I did a full rebuild, changed the chassis in here, dyed the new one, put everything back together. Um, I kind of found out why um, the pinya gear was getting into the clutch here. Um, this motor plate actually bent from the weight of the motor. Okay, if you guys look uh, closely here, I fixed that problem because right here, when you put this big motor down in this truck, 
when you put this uh, aluminum motor mount in here there's like a little uh, like a little nub that's supposed to go in there for this part of the motor mount to sit on and then you put your screw here so this motor pivots when you adjust your uh, your your gear mesh uh, to eliminate that flexing problem you need to put a nut if you could look down in there put a bolt in there and actually bolt the plate down leave it loose you can adjust your your mesh then tighten this and then tighten this guy that was a problem the reason why the motor kept moving under torque and getting into the clutch here if you guys can see that um, that was one of the problems I had I got that fixed and then once we rebuilt it we got everything running it was running pretty good and uh, one day I was out driving and if you guys look at my wires real close the wire my ESC wire and my servo wire wrapped around my dry shaft here and shorted everything out so yeah that's why we just been on the sidelines here and not really running because I have to put on new electronics in this truck uh, I think the motor's still good the servos dead uh, the receiver I really don't know I hope it's not dead but I know for sure this is dead my ESC is gone um, speaking of ESCs, um, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Uh, I've been kicking around the idea of throwing this ESC in there. Uh, I have a Castle Sidewinder 3. Um, this is a 3S ESC. Um, it's brand new. Uh, I was wondering, would it, could I run this ESC with this motor? Um, is that overkill? Would it work? Uh, I'm basically just trying to get this car running. Uh, I pretty much got this here. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'm going to send it back. Um, so you guys let me know. Um, somebody reached out and sent me this to see if it'll work. I don't know if it will. That's why I'm asking you guys, will it work with this motor? Uh, do I have to turn tone down the gears or anything like that? Or would it be fine with the crazy gear ratio I have here on 3S? Um, this battery here is a... It's a 50C burst, 5500 3S battery. I think it's from Power Hobbies, I believe. So, yeah, that's what I got for power and everything in here. And I'm just trying to see if it will be feasible to run this ESC on the big motor. So, you guys drop in the comments, let me know. Or either uh, smack my email, that's Chevy, C-H-E-V-Y-B-R-O-T-H-A, at gmail.com. That's it for now. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, keep our seeing, keep wrenching. Peace.